I guess that's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. We are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. That gate's not budging. We need to get up and over. Hodie Makum Eris in Paradisil. Today you will join me in paradise. Some paradise. Need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Steady. They're not. Be careful. Sorry to disturb you, pal. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. Oh. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a little practice. I've read a few books. Shit, no shit! What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. And yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. <clears throat> Hey, 
goes nothing. Whoops! Through here, watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Oh, another old note. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house. Over there. Nothing over there, eh? Hello? Hey, you okay?
Jesus. I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look. Morbid. Look, something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. Signed Adam Baldrige. They were both founders? Climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. <laughs> ah, refreshing.
boxes and supplies up there. Great. We'll get one down for us. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Again, tired, bruised, a little hungry. I could eat. <laughs> Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, come on. Let's keep going. It's really strong here.
Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. You think the colonists flooded this place? Well, they definitely had the motivation. But you don't think it's them. I just find it odd that all these houses are underwater except for one. <laughs> Avery's. Exactly. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, what's this? Jesus, not all Lord of the Flies in here. No kidding. Hey, check it out. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Nate, over there, that looks like an exit. Right you are.
Great. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... It's okay. I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. I'll find a way up for you. Ugh, too hard. Can't do this alone. Okay. This should work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Move this out of the way. Yep. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. found the party looks like we're a little late <laughs> hey Nate <sighs> check it out it's another sigil oh my god what it's them Elena, these other pirate captains have founded the Britannia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So, what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! 
Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates, and they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There, for posterity. Up here, slowly. Right Be careful. Oh, oh. I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Nate, that shoreline truck is still there. Yeah, I see it. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. Word of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? barricaded the front door and left a bunch of muddy footprints behind let's see where they went
So, where are all the shoreline guys? I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all up and vanished. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts. Don't even joke about that. Hmm. Hey, here we go. Bingo. Over here. Elena, check it out. The footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, hello there. What is it? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Well, read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly, destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. 
Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. <laughs> Let's look around. This is amazing. What? What have you got there? It's a copy of the British proclamation to apprehend Avery. Seems like he was proud of being the most wanted man in the world. Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's got to be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. <laughs> no. I wonder if... Nope. This could be, but it isn't. Nate. Yeah, did you find something? I think so. Whoa. <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I pushed it. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on the island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man I